Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you 10 tips and tricks for DaVinci Resolve you need to try. You can see the list along with the timestamps for each tip right here. Here is how to add text behind moving people or objects. Drag your video to the timeline, then in the effects tab select titles. Select basic text, add it above your clip and then you can align it with your clip. Now on the right side of the screen you can choose the font, size and position to your preferences. I selected this font and then enlarged the text to fill most of the screen. Now we will duplicate the clip by holding the Alt key and clicking and dragging it above the text. The next step is to click on Color Workspace, then select Window and choose the Pen tool. I'm going to select this frame of the video showing the laptop. You can select any frame in your video. Then we will draw a mask around the subject. Try to draw it as accurately as possible until you get back to the starting point. Next click on the tracker and choose track forward and reverse. After that wait for the process to complete. Da Vinci will track the mask in every frame of the video. The next step is to right click here, select add alpha output and connect the two blue points. If you completed all the steps in this tutorial, the text should be behind the subject. Now let's learn how to create a compound clip in DaVinci Resolve. Just select the clips you want to combine, right click and choose create compound clip. After that name it and click create. This will merge them into a single clip for easier editing. The next trick is really simple and I know you will love it. Here is how to create cinematic black bars. First, go to timeline in the top right corner, click on it, then select output blanking and choose the 240 format. This will add cinematic black bars to your video. You can also click on your video and adjust its position on the right side to your liking. The next trick is my favorite, how to create an awesome hologram effect. You'll need to record two videos. For the main video I'll use one where I'm using the laptop and for the hologram video I'll use the screen recording of my previous DaVinci Resolve tutorial for beginners. Place the main video on the timeline then add the screen recording above it. Next move the playhead to the part you want to remove and press Ctrl plus B to cut it. Then select the unwanted clip and press delete. Click on screen recording then in the effects tab click on open effects and search for the transform. When you find it, drag it to the overlay video. Then the effects tab will be activated in the inspector on the right side of the screen. Go to it and for control mode select interactive canvas. Now in this area select open FX overlay, then you'll be able to move the corners of your video. Carefully adjust the corners to position the video and make it look natural, I'll place mine above the laptop. The next step is to click on this arrow under the preview window and go back to the transform option. After that you can deselect it by clicking on it. Now in the inspector you can flip the video and after that go to composite and select screen composite mode to make your video look like a hologram. After editing the hologram effect should look like this. Now I will show you how to install and use the Aegis plugin with editing packs in DaVinci Resolve to make your videos way better. It comes with several free editing packs, but you can also purchase extra packs that will be really useful for your editing. First visit the link in the video description, then log into the Aegis website and then you can download the pack manager for Windows or Mac for free. If you want to enhance your videos even further, you can purchase I Want It All bundle, which includes the best editing packs at a great discount. You'll receive lifetime access to all the packs listed below. Once you download the pack manager, extract it like I did and then install it by following the simple steps. After installation you can find the pack manager here, right click and select open standalone to launch it or type a juice in the search bar to open the software. Here you'll find free packs like the started pack, which includes a various of great effects for your videos. To return to the home page, click the home button in the upper right corner. You'll also find a pack of free sound effects that I find very useful for editing. 
Here are a few examples. The packs listed above are a part of I Want It All bundle, which includes a wide range of special effects, transitions and backgrounds to enhance your videos. With this bundle your videos will achieve a professional look. To show you how to use them, I'll be using the Glitch Transition Pack. Select the effect you want and then press the download button to save it. Once you've downloaded the effect, just drag it from the folder to the timeline and drop it wherever you like. I want the dark part of the effect to be transparent, so I'll be changing the composite mode. You can do this on the right side in the inspector by picking the composite mode that works best. I chose Add Composite Mode. After that my transition looks like this. The next trick is simple and will help you organize your timeline more easily. Now I'll show you how to change the clip color. Simply right click on your clip, then click on clip color and choose the color you like. After that the color of the clip on the timeline will change. The great thing is that you can do this with any clip on the timeline and you can even select multiple clips to change their color at once. Next. I'll show you the easiest way to add fade in and fade out effects to your videos. These effects set the mood at the start and give a nice ending. To add a fade in, move the point at the beginning of the video and adjust it as needed. For a fade out, move the point at the end and set the duration to your liking. Next, I'll show you how to use an adjustment clip. In the effects tab, look for the adjustment clip, then add it to the timeline above your clips. Set the duration to your liking, then go to the effects tab, choose any effect you like and drag it onto the adjustment clip. The effect will apply to all clips under the adjustment clip. You can add fade effects and if you drag it to the media tab, it will be saved for future use. After adding fade effects and adjusting the adjustment clip, here is how my video looks. Now I'm going to show you how to make text glow. In the effects tab go to titles, select text plus and add it to the timeline. Adjust its duration and then in the inspector on the right side of the screen you can change the text and adjust it according to your preferences. The next step is to click on shading and choose 5. Below that click enabled then scroll down to softness and set X and Y both to 10. Now you can adjust the glow effect according to your preferences. Now I will show you how to animate movements with keyframes. First, add an image or video to the timeline above your clip, then set its duration. Click on it. After that, in the inspector, adjust the zoom and position to your preferences then add a keyframe by clicking here. Then click on the keyframe button at the end of the image to see the keyframes and be able to manage them more easily. Now you can simply move the keyframe you added wherever you want your animation to start. After that adjust the position on the right. I've chosen to set the starting position outside of the frame. The next step is to move the playhead to where you want the animation to end. Then adjust the position as you like. You can repeat this as often as you want and easily adjust the animation duration by moving the keyframes. Here is what my animations look like after editing. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one.